So friends, um, here's a story so far. I've painted an undercoat, which is Dark Tones by Farrow and Ball. Um, it's a grey. It's what I call COVID grey, because during, during lockdown, everyone in the UK kept on painting their fence panels, their sheds, their front doors grey. <laughs> I hate grey. But this is the undertone. This is the undertone or dark tone. <laughs> so when I get that pink over that, that will make it really rich. So um, I've painted one coat. Now, um, the reason I've just stopped at putting a second coat on is because I want to make sure there's any cracks that need filling you know things like this that need filling and all of that um, also lining up where the um, handle is going to go back which means that there's this hole here and there's nothing here for that hole to be covered by in terms of brassageness. So I thought to myself, hmm, I could use something to fill it up. So this is an end of a brush and obviously the brush part has died. And I'm thinking, yes, what I'll do is I'll thread it through. So it's absolutely goes right through both sides. I'll put a nice biro line there. I'll trim it down. I'm making sure that's snug so that I can tap it in and then I'll trim it down the other side you see look there's a little little bobbly bit there so I'm going to trim that down and then fill it fill it with uh, wood filler so that's my little clever clever plan <laughs> so um, that's the back of the mosaic thought I'd show you that there you go look have a decent look have a decent look and don't ask me what glue I used because you know what glue I used it's already in the description box in other news feeds I might put it in again because for those who are new I don't blame you but I'm going to get on with prepping now see you soon bye So it's Friday the 17th of December 2021 um, so my next part of the preparation of my internal front door it's the internal one the external one is going to be olive green I've decided but this one is going to remain pink and what's the worst that can happen if I don't like it in situ I can paint it green that's my little thinking so remember when I put the blue tack a blue tack onto all the embellishments so that it won't have grouty groutedness all over it. So I'm now taking it off. Now, top tip, it might be an idea to put some masking tape on the main areas rather than covering it all because by the time you get to peeling it off, it does take a while to take it up. So I had this idea yesterday, which I'm going to implement now is using a little hair dryer like so heating up the blue tack and then using skewpix the skewpix um it'll be on the description box below um pulling it away because it's warmed up I did think about using soapy water, but actually this way is the best way because that way I can reuse the blue tack and we're all for recycle, repurpose, reuse. So actually it's working out better than I feared because <laughs> I did fear it wouldn't and everything will come off. But what I'm doing is rubbing the blue tack over all the excess bits that are still stuck in between like so so that way it takes it up I'm still going to I think just carve out just like using a sharp knife around the edges 
because because this is such a fine grout that I used, it does sort of eke through anyway. But the grand design will look all right. You won't even notice it. So that's the next plan of action. See you soon. Bye. So it's Saturday the 15th of January 2022 and I wanted to show you what the door looks like now. So here it is in its full glory. As you know I've painted it bee bomb pink with a nice bunch of green. So let me just scroll down for you so you can see the glass on glass, glass applique mosaic. So the glass side is on this side. What do you reckon? Do you like it? And it's looking really quite delicious and bright on this side. Um, this is the back. And here's the peacock, and this is the peacock mandala, which I'll work on next, next week. What do you like? Do you like the colour combination of the pink and the green? And these are the hinges. There's three hinges attached to it. So it's uh, properly secure with a little draft excluder at the bottom there. So oh, this is what the work looks like today. And I like this green because it matches the greens, picks out the greens from the tile tapestry. Right, so that's that. And then in the other room, Joe very kindly installed the door for me. So for the longest time, this door this door was up in the attic. So I've been in this house for 12 years now, so it's been in the attic for 12 years because it leads to the kitchen and I don't tend to like doors that lead to the kitchen. So I thought I'd put it back in, in place. Do you like the handles? I like the fact they're called handles. Do you get me? Handles, we like that. And I love the symmetry of it all. Look at that. Look at that. Delightful. Which matches the handle on the pantry door and the handle on the other glass applique. So I'm really pleased that these glass appliques and the mosaics are coming along nicely. Now, after I've done the peacock mosaic in the in the pan uh, in the vestibule, I'm going to work on this wall. So I'm going to add some more mandalas there. So this is what the work looks like today. 
There you go. So, look at that with the reflection. Okay then, see you soon. Bye.